Okay, this is Venkat for Venkatfin.com. I've been doing financial consulting for the past uh, two years. And of those two years, women professionals have always encouraged me to do what I've been doing with love. Uh, they have also given business to me once in a while here and there. And that is the reason I'm making this video. It may not be completely beneficial for those who have already started investing for their future. So skip here and there. If it is not beneficial, kindly skip it. If it is beneficial, I'll be very happy if you give a like to this post. Uh, other disclaimer, I humbly requested to go through it. Okay. If for a one-on-one -on -one consulting for the webinar, it is completely uh, free. You know, you can click on the link below and join for the webinar. For the one-on-one -on -one consulting, I charge a very, very small consulting fee because I don't want to basically sell something, you know, push something to you because it's both insurance and mutual fund. Basically, the financial domain is an industry where people push something to you. And I have a complete no spam policy. And secondly, I encourage women to buy a term insurance for themselves, which is, and term insurance is not bought, it is actually issued. Uh, and that is the reason uh, I take enough time for women to, uh, you know, think about it and then decide whether they are interested in proceeding or not. Okay. Now, agenda of this video is, I mean, of this video is going to be term insurance awareness uh, for women professionals and entrepreneurs. Health insurance awareness. Basically, I don't sell health, health insurance. I just, uh, people choose me to consult and uh, choose the right brand. I connect with the re reliable people. And basically, wealth creation, early retirement plan, uh, investing in EFD, investing in mutual funds. Basically, about how to create a 5 crore corpus. Once again, tell you, this is not for those people who have already started investing for their future. Why term insurance for women? Not because you live sad, but your loved ones have a long life and... Uh, you have to match their lifestyle. So women professionals uh, would have thought that why should I buy a term insurance? Remember, if you are buying a term insurance until the age of 85, now if you are single, then you know your parents will be your nominee. Tomorrow, your husband, You know if you're going to marry. And then you can create a virtual asset for your children. Even for natural death, even for accident, whatever happens, they are issuing it. So sometimes doctors take a term insurance plan until the age of 85, I mean 90, 95 also, because they wanted to virtually create this asset for their children. Okay? And human life value is something that is uh, used to calculate how much sum assured you have to buy, uh, you have to take in a term insurance. Basically, it's calculated based on your current income, your expenses, dependents' expenses, their financial goals, your financial goals, and the lifestyle you envision for your family. Okay. If you are earning um, 5 lakh annual income, you will be eligible for 1 crore cover. If you are earning 20 lakh annual income, you will be eligible for 6 crore cover based on your age also. But remember, the reality is that even those who are earning 20 lakh annual income are again taking a 1 crore cover. This is of course, I understand I'm not paying the premium. You are premium, paying the premium. I humbly request you to at least have a three crore or four crore cover based on the budget. We can structure the budget properly. If you are going to consult with me, I'll be happy. Why I'm very passionately creating awareness on term insurance because term insurance is, uh, is one of the most important foundational financial product where your health is the investment, not just the premium. Let's say this, uh, this is a green is your life journey. Something happens in between. It is not a car, you know, cardiac arrest or something. Any major health setback, you cannot always buy a term insurance that easily. That is the problem. And that is why I encourage people to take a term insurance first in their financial planning process. If you are aged between 18 to 35, multiply your income by 30. That is your uh, adequate sum assured. If you are in 40s, Multiply your uh, annual income by 20, that is, that is your adequate sum assured. Even if you are single or married, whatever it is, if you are taking a term plan until the age of 85, 90, that is actually virtually created for your children or whoever the nominee is. So consider taking a term plan. If you want to do a consulting to choose the right brand, to structure it, to, to take it within your budget, with a no spam policy, message me. Uh, we'll have a one-on-one -on -one session and uh, take a, you can take a clear decision. I will give you all the time and finally you can decide. Okay, next we will go to health insurance. Okay, one of the reasons why I'm making this video, uh, I also publish it on LinkedIn because corporate group health insurance cover, I am not worried about the, the new age health insurance startups saying that they can do this, but most of the group health insurance cover, you cannot transfer from the group health insurance to the personal insurance, health insurance. So I always, always recommend uh, to take an exclusive health cover, I know it is waste of money. If you have minor health issues, tell that and take so that in future you will not have any problem. But as long as you re renew, the insurance company will be liable to take care of your hospital hospitalization expenses. 
this again for the health insurance the same thing at least take for 10 lakh i am not asking for 20 lakh 50 lakh summer should be at least 10 lakh if you are living in metro city like mumbai bangalore whatever because it's an indemnity plan financial loss due to hospitalization you are pushing it to the insurance company again if it's a if that's a major health setback you know how many people in the corporate um, the domain they consult after a major health setback it is i find it very very difficult to issue a health insurance product to them i don't do this as a business i just do consulting for a small fee and then connect with the reliable people even then i love creating this awareness among women professionals too okay now let us come to wealth creation part okay why do we invest in fixed deposit basically it gives you you know six to seven percent interest rate okay for those who have not actually done that i welcome you to understand the other financial products also now we'll keep speaking about it you have to invest in mutual funds because you know we are basically doing it because Sometimes it might go negative too because we are uh, believing the economy of the country. So there are chances the CAGR could CAGR could be more than eight to twenty percent. So start at least only with five thousand SAP. If you are not interested in SAP, at least invest invest a lump sum of twenty five thousand, fifty thousand, something like that, so that you will understand what it is and you will confidently go ahead with that. Okay, if you are not already doing that. Now let us speak about gold investment. You know, most of us in the Indian families invest in physical gold. There are other options too, like sovereign gold bonds, gold mutual funds, etc. So now uh, let us speak about physical gold. I request you to buy gold coins uh, better than ornaments. But anyway, whatever it is, it is always your choice. Sovereign gold bond is basically a kind of assurity given by the Indian government saying that, uh, basically RBI saying that whatever you have invested, at, um, we will be giving uh, one gram of gold in, in terms of units. And for the money you have invested in every year, you are going to get 2.5% annual uh, interest uh, interest rate and it is paid semi annually of 1.25% every six months. And what happens in the eighth year, whatever the value of gold is in your eight year lock in is over, you will be credited the same in your bank account. So, one good thing is that it is tax free if you are going to wait for, for all those eight years. Got it? Now, Though it is taxed at 20%, mutual fund gold uh, is also an optional uh, product I want my clients to invest. I'm not asking you sometimes because of the liquidity it offers. It doesn't have any uh, lock-in period. You can withdraw anytime you want. Of course, there is an expense ratio too. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risk. Read all the scheme-related documents carefully. Okay. Even for those people who are very conservative, I've made many people to try and invest in mutual funds irrespective of presence of all other online platforms. Many people have not started doing it yet. That is the reason I'm making this video. Example for someone who's in, the, who's, who's in 20s but still don't want to invest in mutual funds, I encourage them to invest in a kind of uh, hybrid mutual funds or multi-asset mutual funds. I teach them what it is and I encourage them to invest. Someone in 50s also, I will be doing retirement planning for them. I invest in these kind of mutual funds, basically where they invest in equity and also debt instruments. Now, some women tell me that, you know, they want to invest in a ELSS mutual fund. And uh, let's say, you know, you get ATC tax benefit in that. Uh, one of my clients invested around 60,000 rupees uh, last March. And, uh, you know, the absolute is something what, that you have to compare with the bank. If they, you know, here it is supposed to be 7% instead of that, you know, it has grown to 43%. No, I can also speak it uh, in, in other way around. Let's say, but imagine the market is really well when they invested this lump sum 60,000 rupees and it is going down, then they will be facing loss. This is a very simple way to explain a mutual fund. Uh, anyway, again, this video is for people who have not uh, fully experienced all these instruments, guys. At least start with monthly 5,000 rupees. Here is one of my clients who started conservatively in the last uh, six or seven months. Uh, now his SAP is at around 60,000 rupees. You know, we just have to ensure that we are breaking the bank if the uh, rate not and moving towards 8.45% is what I have given uh, to him at, at this point of time. Because I he was kind of, I've been invested in hybrid funds. I've invested in gold for him, especially to ensure that uh, he is not too much worried when the market uh, falls. Basically, do retirement planning or fire for uh, corporate pro professionals in their uh, mid 30s, 40s, and 50s. So, imagine let's say you want to create a one crore retirement corpus, a monthly investment of around 20,000, which, which, which is done for around 15 years religiously. Uh, of course, it might go down or up, whatever it is expected is, uh, returns is. Uh, at CAGR at uh, around 12%, we could basically create that corpus of one crore. The total investment will be around 36 lakhs. At around 12% CAGR, we can actually you know, come to this uh, number of 1.1 crore uh, after 15 years. Let's say you want a kind of a 3 crore retirement corpus. 
monthly a cpi of around 30000 rupees and with a duration of 20 years expected return of 12% it might go down up whatever it is let's imagine that the uh, you know market is really you know gifting us and it is at 12% then we we can basically think about 72 lakh investment over a period of 20 years and we are creating a 3 crore uh, corpus for your retirement once again i want to warn you this is all this uh, you know i don't like youtube videos where they say if you invest one so you will get so many crores no it all starts with one day at a time one week at a time one month and one year at a time for example my my client who is around 1550s he started invested around 30000 a month slowly he started with 5000 10000 now at now he is at 30000 a month i have given a kind of return of around 13.99% not mean the market has given him this kind of return i basically do asset allocation within mutual funds ensuring that people in 50s are feeling little bit better even when the market you know goes flat in the life insurance savings also okay this is the other chapter i want to cover people would have pitched some products uh, when you go on online platforms or other advisors would have pitched do not park our money in the life insurance savings product and do not avoid life insurance savings product also because for people who are very conservative they will be going investing you know 2 lakh a month a year 3 lakh a year 5 lakh a year for some nra i've seen 5 lakh a year in a, you know my life insurance savings product that is fine nothing wrong but within that try to see if you can do asset allocation maybe a guaranteed return product invest only 2 to 3 lakh and the rest you can educate yourself on what are the pros and cons of mutual fund and slowly start with that 5000 and then slowly invest around 3 lakh in the mutual funds so within the life insurance savings product also i will be doing asset allocation for you people okay why did i did not speak about uh, you know creating a 5 crore uh, uh, corpus because it will in the financial domain one of the most important thing people misuse that people use your greed to ensure that you know uh, they will say you will get so many lakhs this lakhs this crore and that is the reason you have to understand your income status your uh, financial goals your corpus could be you will be happy only with the corpus of 50 lakh you will be happy only with the corpus of 1 crore so based on your income status your finance, current expenses and financial goals only you will be able to save the money those who will be able to invest 20000 or 30000 a month or even 1 lakh a month to create a you know save 1 lakh a month to create a corpus let them think about 5 crore corpus if you can invest only 10000 a month to create your corpus start with that so even if you can invest only 5000 a month to create a corpus start with that start somewhere is always have always been my mantra in the personal conversation i will be we will be speaking about what are the you know have you taken a term plan have you thought about a health insurance exclusive one what brand you have my review about that brand will be speaking about if you have invested in any life insurance savings product or how much you have in fd gold and mutual funds we will have a kind of a understanding about your current financial journey and how you can structure it in future message me any time of the day and ask me how much is the consulting fee we have to personally speak to you and structure it so that is it guys if you want to plan your finances and include me in your game in your fire game i'll be happy to uh, guide you on that all your requests is message me any time of the day and ask me how much is the consulting fee you can go to venkatwealth.com uh, there i have it is completely free there i have a kind of a run a webinar also you can register on that that is completely free so i'll be expecting your message thank you so much and good luck to you